Okay, so today I'm gonna be making shiru because that's how they pronounce the anime. So these are the colors I'll be using. This is white. Here's Magnolia Way for the skin that I use. Black. This is Yarn Bees Silver. And then we have like a bunch of different shades of blue here. So I try to like put them in order. Starting off with this side. Oh my gosh, I already forgot the names. This is Navy by Impeccable. It's like the darkest shade of blue that I have. This is I Love This Yarn, Dark Denim. This is Blue Moon by Impeccable. Medium Blue by I Love This Yarn. Clear Blue by Impeccable. And then we have Crafter Secret cobalt blue this outfit that i chose of his has like a lot of different shades of blue so hopefully i can use it all i'm so glad i bought all these shades <laughs> okay so i'm back with another update for the legs hopefully i want to explain this quickly but here i start off the bottom with black so i pretty much added two little simple bows i have a tutorial on how to make these little bows in the playlist i made two of those with cobalt blue glued them on chain did some more color changes Right here, I, this is how I decided to do the stripes, by the way. So it on with medium blue, and I think it does the job pretty well. Here's the back side. So this is the jacket coat tail, at least that's what I'm calling it. And it's like two little flaps. I attach on round 14, like how I do with every other skirt and pants. So they just have like um, two little butt flaps. Place that on, and now I'm finishing off the rest of the body. So it's very simple so far. I think I did a pretty decent job simplifying it. Be back with the next update. Quick progress update before we move on. So here I made the base of the body. I gave him one eye this time because he has an eye patch and the other eye is really weird. So I'm probably not gonna make that. <laughs> Clear blue for the iris. I gave him the cornered shape eye because he's like a serious kid. Yeah, this is what we have so far. This is the little white part for the middle of the neck which I'm gonna be crocheting on the collar afterwards and all the other little details. He has like a lot of buttons. So I'm gonna try to do my best to do all that. Here are both of his arms. They are the same. Whoops. So I started off the bottom with black. I did back loop only right here for the skin part. And then I went up to navy. And then I sewed on these little stripes of medium blue. And then I put on these little knots right here. I simply just took yarn and like tied it into a knot. And then like I stuffed it right onto the arm to make the details of the buttons. Although it's not going to be that visible, but I feel like I should add it on anyway because that's part of the details. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and be back. Second to last update, here we go. I went ahead and added on these little silver buttons right here. And then after that, I went ahead and added on the collar right here. And then here is the simple bow, which I simply wrap around cobalt blue so that we can have like two different colors since the ribbon has two colors. And then I wrapped around the neck cobalt blue yarn right there. This is what the front side looks like so far. I'm currently working on the hair. I also need to make the eye patch. Here is the back side. I added like a couple of more little buttons <laughs> for the details. And yeah, this is it so far for the outfit. I'm not gonna do anything else to it. Be back with the final update. Welcome back to the final update. So this is Shiru with his hair completed. And this is where we begin. Okay, so I did first off the front side, this part right here, this one strand is a 12 chain. Here's another 12 chain, 10 chain, 12 chain, eight, and another 12 chain right here. The rest are all filled up with eight chains. So as usual, I fill it up across the edges first. And then I went back and filled up the rest of the head randomly and then here is the eye patch i glued this down so everything is pretty much permanent i had the little yarn strand that goes across and i just kind of like tucked it inside the head so here is the hat separately and i love this hat so much it was so fun to make because like all the little hat accessories really makes the doll look cuter and i think it's so cool how it turned out i used two different colors navy and dark denim so here is dark denim for like the little ribbon i just changed color right here and then I simply created a separate bow so that way you can just like glue it on the back side of the hat. And then this is what he looks like when he wears it. It's gonna go on tilted like this and then I'll have like a pin to pin it down. Okay, so there you go. That's what he looks like when the hat is on and pinned down. I need to secure this with more pins because I only have one on here right now, but the doll looks so fantastic. I love the way it looks. Oh my gosh. I'm so, so happy with the hat, especially the bow on the backside. It looks really cool. Ah. I love all the shading of this. There's like multiple blues in there and it just goes so well together. And there you have it. That's the final update for Shiru. Yeah, let's get to Sebastian. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. This is black yarn. Here is Magnolia Way skin. This is white. This is I love this yarn coffee dark charcoal by impeccable and then i'm using artiste silver and i have this little scrap yarn for the color of his eyes 
which is Fire Red by I Love This Yarn. So these are all the colors I'll be using. I'll be back with the next update. Here's the first update of Sebastian. Didn't do an earlier update since there was so much going on in the background, so I just completely made his body. <laughs> so the bottom part, I start off with black for his shoes, using two different shades for his outfit because I wanted to give it some different colors, different shading. So that's why there's like two different shades of black going on. So this is black right here. This is dark charcoal. And then I also have this really dark brown, which is like a coffee color, since he does have like this color around his waist. And I just did some color changing right here. And then as well as the collar, which is the same as Shiru. And then the top part is, of course, his head as usual. So I made the eyes with fire red. And I gave him also cornered eyes because he's also a serious character. And then the back side is how I created the coattails with here. I used the eight chain two together for both sides to create the little pointy coattails. For Sebastian, I used squares because his kind of curves in a little bit. And I just sort of simplified it. I wanted to make it like more curvy, like more round. For his coattail but i just made it square so be back with the next update okay so we're back with the second final last update this is what the finished part of his body looks like i added on the collar right here wrapped it completely around the neck and then i just simply sewed it on like how i did with shiru and then i also gave him these little silver knots right here i only give him four i think he has like six knots on his suit but like obviously it can't fit so <laughs> i only gave him four of that and i did the same thing i just like tucked it in with my broken felt needle and then after that i took my silver artiste yarn and then i somehow managed to like sew it on similarly to how it like dangles down on his suit I also used glue to keep it in place so hopefully it doesn't like move around too much. I put like glue right here and then I also put it like right here on the inside. So yeah, simple stuff like that just to <laughs> for the details. I thought it was kind of important to have all that stuff there. Then at the end I gave him this little tie right here which I also sewed on around the neck area and then it wraps around to the front side which creates this illusion of a tie. I mean hopefully it looks like a tie close enough for inner rounds for outer rounds so a full hair cap since he has like a head full of longer hair and then currently we are working with 10 chain for this middle part and then i have like a 12 chain right here and another 12 chain right here this is an 8 chain i might fill up the rest of his hair with 8 chains for the top part but we'll see be back with the final update this is so satisfying Final update for Sebastian. Yes, I'm done with the hair on day two. So this is what I did for the hair. So starting off on this side, this is a 12 chain right here. This one long strand that goes down here. And I noticed that the strand on the other side of his hair is actually a little bit shorter, but I still use a 12 chain on this side. And I simply just shifted it up since his hair is like kind of uneven. For this part right here, I used an eight chain. This is a 10 chain. Here's another 12 chain that just kind of curves down right next to his eye. And then the rest are all pretty much filled up with eight chains. I got like strands that are poking up right here, here, and then right here as well. And then I worked my way around the bottom part, the edges right here. So I have some little hair strands poking out on this side. And then the rest are pretty much all filled up with eight chains. This one strand poking out right here, right here, and also right here as well. So his hair is actually very nice to do. Very simple look, just a butler. <laughs> and then on the back side, I actually added two more of these little silver knots because he has like two buttons on the back and that's about it for the changes on the body but yeah this is it sebastian is finished they look so amazing i love it so much kind of considering making some of the other characters like the character with the red hair i forgot the name grell grell it's been so long since i watched the anime but really enjoy making these characters. I procrastinated making them for so long because I thought their clothing design was a little bit too difficult when I first started crocheting. After $100 later, I think I managed to pull it off pretty decently, so. <laughs> you guys wanna know how to make your own anime hair? I have links to the hair pattern in the description box below, so you can also make your own anime style hair using my tutorial pattern, and along with my other base bodies too. The notes for Sebastian and Shiru will be in my Kofi link. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back with the next progress vlog soon. Bye.